20 years. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, there were a lot of struggles in the beginning because we didn't know really what we were doing. I mean, we just knew that Shane could cook and he was amazing at it. We both were in the medical field and he had a great job and we had three kids at the time, but um, we took that step and, you know, just took that opportunity that I think was given to us and I'm just glad we took it. Really, I'd never run a restaurant, so there were pieces of it we're running to Sam's and restaurant supply places running to put payroll in after lunch so that things don't, you know, just there's so much that goes on. Everything's gonna be hard work if it's worth it. And you're gonna have to figure some of this out. I mean, even sleeping in the the minivan in yeah. the parking lot. Uh, it, it's just been some bumps, but it's been, every time you go through that, it's just a growing point in your life. He was gonna be in the kitchen no matter what because that's just what he loved to do and I don't cook, so I was gonna be up front. So I was gonna be the first person that you know customers would see when they walked in the door. So I feel like sometimes people can make a choice of whether they go to a restaurant or not based on the service. I always would say you wanted, they could make a difference in somebody's day that can make a difference in their life. Oh, I mean, y'all were very intentional about that. That was something that was kind of magical that we had. Not only did we have great food, we had great service too. Yeah, and that was what was nice. I could concentrate on the food. I knew that front was covered. Everything we wanted to be so perfect, and we still do today, just wanting everybody's experience to be good. I want everybody's meal to be great. And that was what I did with friends and family, and I do at the restaurant. It just worked magically. I was nine years old when the original Shane's opened. I was in third grade. We would sometimes come in in the mornings, we were watching dad chop pork before we would go to school. And then it just kind of grew into me wanting to be a part of the family business, almost. I guess I started when I was 19, um, being a part of Shane's, and then growing into the general manager role that I have today. Um, and once I got to the point where I was making the decisions on my own, I would say, what would Stacy do? What would Shane do? And that's how I would be able to move forward and know that I'm making the right decision in what I'm doing because it's what they would have done. One of the things that's special to me about Shane's is that I feel like we can make an impact. Keeping it local is what I really like to do. And, uh, you know, just the doing stuff with the firemen, the police officers, it's just so many things you can do. Um, it's not just giving a check to an organization or to somebody. It's when the hands are involved yeah, with it, it makes, it, yeah, like it makes an impact. It's like going out and serving and, and being the hands and feet of, you know, to help people. So one of the things that I'm most proud to be a part of Shane's is uh, what this company is known for is just giving back to the community. At Piedmont, Piedmont Henry, he always gives meals to all the employees and it's really cool to see it being done and people don't really know who I am sometimes on you know at the hospital but to know that that's my father and his company that's given all those meals for free for the healthcare workers is really cool too. He donated the meals to Chase Maddox's funeral. He was a first responder policeman that was fallen in the line of duty and he's done a lot of things for first responders to show our support for them and everything they do every day. Really really appreciate that. I just feel like we have so many memories growing up around Shane's and then seeing everything that dad does for the community. I hope that my kids, Evelyn, Delilah, and Cyrus can grow up and be able to be a part of that as well. You know, when I got into this business, it wasn't just because of the restaurant business, but it was be able to make an impact in a company where you could control what you do. And so we just set off that way, you know, cared about our employees, cared about the community. We just love our employees because without them, there's no restaurant opening. You know, even in the beginning, Shane and I, like when we started this business, we we really wanted to take care of our employees and, and treat them like they were family. They had fun when they went to their job, but they also felt like they were a part of our family. We love them, and th I think that's what, you know, makes us different than a lot of places. You know, any business that anybody does, there's going to be a lot of obstacles and a lot of road bumps. I mean, it's just going to be, and 
whether it's a huge business, small business, if it's been around 20 years, I promise you there's gonna be some pain, but it's always worth it. And then you keep thinking of the employees that we had, the customers and the relationships. I just remember thinking when he finally said, you know, I really wanna do this and we and we rode past that, gosh, I could cry. No, <laughs> uh, it's okay, go ahead and cry. Past that original building and we said, hey, let's do it. We had no idea when we started this that it was going to be, that we would be sitting here talking about a story 20 years later. Um, so for me, I just think that we we did what we were supposed to do. It was part of the plan. We listened. We obeyed. We took that step. And we took that opportunity. And it's not, it's not just made a difference in our lives. I mean, I think for me, the... The thing that's most important is that it's made a difference in a lot of people's lives. And that's, to me, that's really special because I want it to be that it's touched as many people as we can. And I think that as hard as it was in the beginning, you know, we could have gave up. It was tough, but we, we kept pushing through. And that's, that's what's special to me.